My name is Andrew Thiessen, and I perform this research with Sierra Ramirez and Professor Hamid Marvi. We wanted to examine the differences between simulations and experiments when it came to screw-generated forces. This would be important when examining the terra mechanics of robotic mobility. So we wanted to look at screw-propelled vehicles because we saw they'd been used for a variety of unusual terrestrial applications. We thought that maybe we could utilize vehicles similar to this on the moon or possibly microgravity bodies such as asteroids. The experiments were performed with two 3D printed screws of the dimensions listed, one having a pitch of four centimeters and one having a pitch of eight centimeters. The pitch is defined in the picture below as the axial length it takes for the screw to make one full rotation around the axis. This was placed in line with a force sensor and motor and then placed within a bed of two millimeter glass beads. These experiments were then run for 10 trials at 15 RPM increments from 30 to 105 RPMs. We then imported the CAD model of our setup into the EDEM simulation software and utilized all the qualities of glass beads that we found in the literature to try to accurately simulate this granular media. In doing this, we wanted to assess the flow patterns and the forces measured in both the simulations and experiments and see if we could successfully reproduce them. So we can see local flow features at both the expelling and impelling ends of the screw for the experiment here, and then the simulation as we will see directly after it. The results shown have the RPM of the screw on the x-axis and the force generated on the y-axis. As you can see, the force as a function of RPM shows similar trends between experiments and simulations. The experimental data points have a very small standard error. While there is a difference between the experiment and simulation generated forces, these differences are predictable. And therefore, we conclude that discrete element method modeling software is a useful tool for terra mechanics modeling. Our future work involved using a dynamic simulation to look at how a craft might operate on Phobos, Mars's moon. This was done with the microgravity of Phobos and we were able to achieve a steady state speed of four millimeters per second. The granular media displayed here has the density of the granular media on Phobos with the gravity turned down to the microgravity on Phobos. So our next steps are to assess the accuracy of dynamic simulations by coupling these simulations with a multi-body dynamic software and then characterizing a lunar simulant in this software to try to achieve high fidelity simulations of possible spacecraft capabilities.